have to get my life jacket because the seas are getting pretty rough. I'm Andrea, that's Alejo, and those are our pairs, Ozzy and Echo. We left the corporate world in Miami to become digital nomads and chase the wind kiteboarding. Join us as we sail an adventure in our dream home, Hakuna. Good morning, everyone. So today is a very special day because we're finally leaving Deltaville. Um, it had been at least, I think, over a little bit over a month and a half. We had been just doing some boat projects, preparing for our time in the Caribbean. And we had also gone on a two week vacation to Maine. It's finally time to set sails and, and ready and go and start making our way south. Uh, we will be heading to Florida and we will be doing that in maybe three, four stops. Our first stop, we will be going from here, from Deltaville straight to Cape Lookout and we will be sailing not through the, we won't be going through the ICW, but we will be going through the outside, like out in the open, crossing Cape Hatteras. A lot of people feel it's kind of nerve wracking, a little bit scary, just because it's very choppy waters. There has been a lot of ships that have actually sank in that area, but we looked for a good weather window. We have a good three, we have four days to do the crossing. Let's see what our captain's doing. Good morning, Captain. Good morning. It's so cold. <laughs> I know. You should get a sweater. How cold is it? Very cold. Like in the 60s or 50s? Yes, yeah, like 60 something. Yep. And then we're going to continue from Cape Lookout, right? To Charleston, maybe? Oh. Charleston. Oh, that's maybe we just want to jump from state to state. Maybe go Charleston, then Charleston, uh, Brunswick, Brunswick, St. Augustine. Augustine and then straight to Miami. And then we're provisioning. And then what are we doing? Because we're going to the Bahamas, Bahamas. I know, we're so excited to go back to the Bahamas. And hopefully this time we're gonna make it all the way south to Grenada, hopefully Colombia. Um, but yeah, by Deltaville. We met so many <laughs> awesome people. Yeah. We had a good time there, right? It's right. a great marina, recommended to anyone that comes here to Virginia. The people, the dog master, like everyone there, super nice, great community. We have sailed for 7 hours and 30 minutes, we have done 46 nautical miles and our average speed is 6.1 knots. Nice. Yeah. So and far so good. Yeah, how's the waves, how's the wind, how's it looking? Now we're exiting the Chesapeake Bay and the waves are getting bigger but not that big. They're pretty far apart. They're like four feet every seven seconds, I think it is. Do you think they're searching for whales? I don't know, but I'm searching for whales. We just got our first whale, and that was the most exciting thing ever. I can't wait until I get to swim with whales. Okay, so we're still 
heading to Cape Lookout. It's day two. Day two. So last night wasn't bumpy at all. We had the waves from behind. We had a little bit of wind. So yeah, what's, what's we good? We did shifts of three hours. Yeah, we did shifts of three hours. And what else? And you already had your eight hours of sleep. I have it. So I do have eight hours. Yes, I, I had six hours. hours. No, I just count your hours. Whatever she said. I haven't had Excuses, people, excuses. So yeah, the dogs are here with us. We're saving. And yeah, it's a nice day. Blue sky, nice day. Please tell us what have you been doing for like 30 hours? everyone so last night we made it to Cape Lookout and it was such a beautiful day such a beautiful morning Did you just say Cape Lookout? oh Cape Lookout I said and it was a beautiful morning we had lots of dolphins and today what we're gonna do we were thinking of staying here a couple of days but since we want to get to Florida as soon as possible and start heading to the Bahamas um, it's there's not a lot of wind but the waves, there's not waves. So we're thinking of just motoring and just going down because we only have, we have a doctor's appointment and we only have 15 days until then to make it south. And so we think it's just best if we start heading south. So if we could just cover a few miles because we're still pretty up north. out a little bit so they can run and have some fun since we had been doing uh, just one night of sailing two days but you know they can still run and have fun and do their thing and we will continue making our way south okay 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 corre, corre, corre. Corre. <laughs> by the way did you guys check out my shirt isn't it cute I just got it from our store, livinghakuna.com. Check it out, it's really cute. What do you think of my shirt? It's really nice. Do you like it? Mine is better. <laughs> <laughs>
have to do before we leave? Clean the grass of the dogs because it smells really bad after two days of sailing. So dip it in the water. So guys, let me show you a bridle, how it's working. We spent the first night with the brand new bridle that I made. Let me show you. So there's this knobber, there's one. And here's the other side. I took some information online that the bridle length, it had to be 1.2 of the of the beam of your boat but the one before we had it was like 13 feet so it was almost half of the beam and this one's like 20 I, I put it to 20 because 20 29 it was like too too long and if you see the mantis bridle it's 29 feet but I talked to someone that has it and they tell me it's really long and it's very annoying to to put it out so so I don't know, I think I might just make another one a little shorter and see how it works because the one that we had before, I don't know if that's why we dragged a lot of times because our bridle was so short so the, like, the chain always was pulling up. We're leaving and we have dolphins saying bye to us. people so we are heading down we woke up today like at 6 because our anchor was dragging so we woke up and now we're sailing yeah so the weather we have a pretty uh, windy day but we get the winds from behind as you can see they're pretty big they're like four to six feet and yeah we're going like at seven to nine knots we're going pretty fast and what else so we are passing now we're almost at georgetown the inlet we're a couple hours away so i don't know if we're gonna keep going i think we're gonna do an overnight so we can arrive at least to charleston and if we keep getting the wind from behind, we'll just keep going until, uh, what's it called? Brunswick, Georgia. So, I had to get my life jacket because the seas are getting pretty rough. I have the harness, just in case. But yeah, you can see a sea. Very big way. You can barely see on the camera the waves. But they're huge. 
So we just broke our speed record. We were surfing down a wave at 10 knots. That's pretty amazing. Pretty crazy, pretty crazy. You, you can see a wave there. With the height of the waves. They're super big. This while I sail. We're almost there. 30 minutes. Well, no. Yeah, like 30 minutes to arrive. Thank you guys all so much for watching and a special thank you to all our patrons for supporting us in the making of these videos. We really hope you all can join us in the next one as we finish sailing to Miami. Bye!